हाय फ्रेंड्स आप देख रहे हैं हमारा चैनल द टेक्निकल गुरुजी इस चैनल के अंतर्गत हम आपके लिए डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स पर वीडियो लाते रहते हैं मेरी आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और अगर आपको हमारी वीडियोस पसंद आए तो लाइक करें एंड नई वीडियोस की अपडेट्स के लिए घंटी वाले बटन को प्रेस करें तो आइए शुरू करें The people from Barnsley used to walk it to, to watch Sir Donald Bradman bat. That's the great attraction he was. During World War II, Bradman enlisted in the Royal Australian Air Force, but he was invalided out within a year. There was serious doubt about his returning to cricket at war's end. At that time, I honestly did not think that I would play first-class cricket again. But uh, you, you want to cast your mind back to the. Uh, euphoria that existed in the community with the end of the war, uh, and uh, particularly in England, they were very, very anxious to get cricket started again, to give them some relief from the conditions that they'd endured for several years. In 46, 47, when England came out, he was very reluctant to play again, and I think uh, he only played again then because he felt it was the right thing to do for cricket. Um, and then that 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 season, having gone quite well. Um, Obviously, Swan Song in 1948 in England was, was, a, was a wonderful way to go out. The final three years of Bradman's cricket career were a golden period for Australian cricket. Bradman's last series in England in 1948 will be long remembered for the unbeaten string of results achieved by the Invincibles. It is one of the great sides in history. Uh, the Australians usually say that the three great sides we had was 1902, 1921 and 1948. It's rather a pity we can't uh, go back into history and stage a match between them to see how they'd get, how they'd get along. I saw the 1921 players and I know how good they were and uh, I'd be very happy to think we were classed uh, on a level with them. Yes, it was a sad story for England, but there were very bright scenes at the Oval where everything was forgotten for the moment except the importance of paying tribute to Don Bradman. And so cricket's greatest batsman retired. He was knighted in 1949, the first Australian to be knighted for services to cricket. Yardley, who has described Don as the greatest cricketer of all time, called on the crowd to give him three special cheers, which they did with a will. Sir Donald Bradman served as an Australian selector and as a South Australian delegate to the Cricket Board of Control. In 1960, he became the first ex-player to be appointed chairman of the board. Don Bradman's influence on Australian cricket goes far beyond the 20 years that he played the game because he was an administrator then for over 30 years. He was an Australian selector for over 30 years and uh, was in fact a selector when um, Australia played the West Indies in 1960-61. He was chairman of selectors at the time, a series which is uh, widely credited as being one of the most exciting, interesting, invigorating series of all time. Sir Donald Bradman lived to the age of 92. His death in February 2001 was received with deep sadness across the cricket world. Don Bradman played in 52 test matches. He made 6,996 runs at an average of 99.94, including 29 centuries. He made 12 test double centuries, more than any other player. In all first-class cricket, he played 234 matches for 28,067 runs at an average of 95.14, including 117 centuries. I love a little story that uh, Dennis Compton and Don Bradman were sitting at the Adelaide Oval one day, and uh, it was in, I think it must have been about the sort of 86, 87 series or something, and, um, and Compo asked the Don uh, how he thought he'd get on against this uh, England bowling attack, and he said, oh, I said, I'd probably average 50. And Compo said to him, he said, average 50, Don? He said, you average 99.9. .9. He said, yeah, but I am 85. You know, so, yeah, he obviously had a sense of humour right up to, to the end of his, uh, his, his life. So Donald Bradman is the most famous Australian ever. 
not just happened to be the greatest cricketer of all time, but the most famous Australian ever. Um, it was the closest thing to perfection. And yet he wasn't perfect the way he played. Everyone taught you to hold the bat together and hold your hands like that. He used to bat with his hands apart. Um, he's the first one that really worked the game out. Really worked out how to play the game, uh, statistically wise, and keeping the ball on the ground. 6,996 runs, he only hit six test sixes in his time, where you look at Gilchrist, he hit close to 87. So, an amazing player, hit a lot of fours, kept the ball on the carpet, whether it's a sticky wicket, a wet wicket, or a wicket was absolutely flat, he, he had all the answers. What a great player Sir Donald Bradman was. You've only got to look at his figures, and his figures show that he's the greatest batsman that's ever lived, and the greatest batsman, I can't see anyone ever in history being as good as him, as good as Bradman. He was a very, very private person, Bradman. Uh, he didn't like the intrusion on his private life that the fame brought. Um, that's not to say he was a recluse. He's called a recluse. He wasn't a recluse. Um, when you met him, he, he was uh, uh, open, quite light-hearted, entertaining, um, great sense of humour. Uh, he had a great shout of a laugh and um, you know, he liked telling stories and hearing stories. I remember talking to Sadon, and when we asked him, uh, in, uh, in today's uh, era, I mean, what would you have averaged? He said, uh, yeah, around about 70. He said, uh, why Sadon? Why do you think uh, 70? He said, uh, I'm 90 today, so that's not bad for a 90-year-old man. <laughs> I've never forgotten what he said, that um, you know everyone is a custodian of the game. It's up to each player, it's up to the media, it's up to the administrators to preserve the traditions, the values, the heritage of the game and play it in its fair spirit. Be competitive, go out there to win, of course, but, um, but do it the right way. There's so much been written and said about him, it's, it's hard to sort of make a definitive sort of answer to what Don Bradman means. I mean, he's the, he's the ultimate um, yeah. icon for cricket. Bradman is an icon and nobody has made a greater contribution to cricket than Don Bradman. Um, the fact that he, you know, at times um, he's written anything up to 500 letters, personal letters each week. Um, he's worked for charity as you just, you, people don't know it but I do because I'm on the Bradman Foundation and things like that. Um, and you really got to understand the, the work that he, he did behind the scenes. Always anonymous, but but absolutely a great con contributor. Um, he was he was probably one of the greatest Australians that we've ever ever known. Universally recognised as Australia's greatest sporting figure of the 20th century, Sir Donald Bradman emerged during the Great Depression, when his country needed a hero. He remained an Australian hero for the rest of his days. He is the greatest of all ESPN's Legends of Cricket.